Good morning, Roadrunners. Today is Monday, October 12th, 2020. Would you please stand, face the flag on the screen, and say the pledge with me? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please pause now for a moment of silence. It's a great time to think about your marvelous Monday. Great job, everyone. Now on to some announcements because I do have quite a few for you today. The first one is about our Boosterthon. I'd like to remind you that donating for our Boosterthon kicks off on tomorrow. That's right, our Timothy Road Digital Dance Fit will kick off tomorrow. And remember our goal is to raise $10,000 for a new gym floor. Now we are so excited about this fundraiser because it's going to be fun for all students. You'll get to take part in a character education program and participate in the Roadrunner Dance, Dance Fit and get that needed boost of school spirit too. Remember that fundraisers really help support the educational experiences that we offer here at Timothy. And this year we'd like to continue that. And so I'm asking our families to support us. And you can do this by supporting this fundraiser in one of two ways or by doing both. Either one as a family you can give or two, you can share your student's fundraising link with others or you can do both of those things. Either way, you are participating and we appreciate it. Just keep in mind, if now is not the right time for you to financially give, we totally understand. If you just share the fundraising idea, that is helping our school and helping our students and we really appreciate all that you're doing. You can learn more about how to easily donate by checking out funrun.com. And as we get close to our start date, which is October 18th for the Digital Dance Fit, you'll find out more information. You can also check out the PTO's Facebook page for more information. And again, we thank you so much for your support. So go Roadrunners! On last Thursday, we had our Chick-fil-A Spirit Night, and I told you that we would talk about what we raised. Thank you to all of our families for participating because we were able to raise $400 that evening. And that's really great because remember, a portion of the proceeds go back to us. Chick-fil-A still has to operate, but we sure do appreciate you for driving out and showing your school spirit. And we're looking forward to our next Chick-fil-A night. Now, it's time for us to remember about the election. Remember, boys and girls, that this is an election year, and I told you that you would have an opportunity to vote. And so we wanted to remind you about what that opportunity looks like. You'll have an opportunity to vote coming up very soon, and your teachers will tell you more about it. But we want to give you some election facts every single day. So here's your election fact for today. Did you know that presidents are elected every four years and that a president can serve two terms. A term is equal to four years and no one president can serve more than two terms, which is a total of eight years. That's an important fact for you to remember. Now on to a few more important announcements. This week kicks off our Teacher of the Week. Let's celebrate some Teachers of the Week. So listen up as we get ready to celebrate and recognize all the wonderful work that's going on. We could easily honor lots and lots of teachers throughout the entire building, but we're gonna choose two that just this week. So drum roll please. Our first Teacher of the Week that we'd like to recognize is none other than Miss Christina Honeycutt. Miss Christina Honeycutt is a primary multi-grade adaptive teacher here at Timothy. And we're so excited that she's here because she is an amazing instructor. Her parents and her students know how patient she is. She's always showing kindness. And we love her for the extraordinary expertise she offers to the PBIS committee as a co-chair. Thank you to Ms. Honeycutt and congratulations to you. Now for that next drum roll, please. Congratulations to Ms. Jennifer Moon. Ms. Jennifer Moon is a third grade gifted teacher and we are so excited for Ms. Moon to be celebrated this week because Ms. Moon is such a wonderful gifted teacher at the third grade level. She offers mentorship to her peers. She's very structured and she gives a lot of dedication to her students and her colleagues. Thank you, Ms. Moon, for all your hard work and the things that you're doing. We love you, Ms. Moon and Ms. Honeycutt, and our hats off to you for this week. We'll be celebrating and honoring you, and you may pick up your certificates in your mailbox. 
Don't forget, boys and girls, the Timothy Road Library is virtually open for business and books can be selected by placing them on hold by Tuesday at noon. That's tomorrow. Make sure that you go ahead and place the books that you'd like to check out on hold and you can pick up those books on Thursday between 1.30 and 5.30. Remember, there will be a cart near the front door and a bundle with your name on it. You can get more information by, lo by visiting the virtual learning website at bit.ly slash Timothy Roadrunners and clicking on curbside checkout. There's a video with lots of information to share on how you can check out books. Today is also our Academic Aspiration Day. I hope you remember to wear your college gear. I wore my undergrad college gear from Mercer University. And so your teachers are there wearing their college gear and talking to you about college choices. We want you to be college and career ready when you finish high school. But this is a great time to start thinking about it and talking about it. We know that you live in the city of where the University of Georgia is, but there are so many colleges out there. We want to teach you all about all the different options. There's so many places you could attend and we'd love to share those ideas with you. So every month we'll celebrate Academic Aspiration Day and talk to you about your college, college and career choices outside of high school. Well, boys and girls, those are all the announcements I have for today. Don't forget, show your pride and you can do that by being patient, respectful, independent, determined, and encouraging. Can't wait to see you in the virtual space. Have a marvelous Monday.